YouTube. What is good? It's your boy Q from Next Level Reefing, and I'm back with another video. First and foremost, I'd like to say thank you for all the love and support. I show sure do appreciate it. And with that being said, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell so you'll be notified of every video that I drop, which is every single Friday. And by the way, y'all, let me let you in on a little secret. It is totally free to subscribe. Don't cost you nothing. Now, the YouTube algorithm had let me in on some G45 classified top secret stuff. And it showed me that 67% of y'all is watching, but ain't subscribed. So when you guys subscribe, it helps me out and lets me know that my content is actually resonating with you guys. And it also shows that the hard work that it takes to put out these videos is actually resonating with you guys. So again, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive into it, people. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I got rid of green hair algae. So one of the homies slash subscribers had reached out to me and was like, hey bro, man, what you doing to tackle all that green hair algae you got in your tank? And I didn't realize it was that bad until I started looking at my old video footages and was like, oh yeah, I, I need to do something about it. So before tackling it, you know how I do, you know, I take my time and I do my research. So with that being said, I went and did my due diligence and found out what actually caused the green hair algae outbreak in my tank. Now there could be countless reasons why you would get green hair algae in the tank. So I'm only talking about my specific issues with my tank. So the reason why I had green hair algae in my tank was, you see there's a lot of dead spots where uh, the light or too much light is penetrating towards the rock. And that's where for one, I was getting the green hair algae. And also for two, it was a weak spot of flow coming from the MP40. So once you accumulate green hair algae, the way that algae grows and thrives and eats is having a high phosphate. So, of course, like I was telling you guys before, when I did my uh, phosphate check in the last video, and if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that. When I checked that, my phosphate was a little high. It wasn't at zero. It wasn't too high, but it was high enough for the algae to kind of do an outbreak. But the whole high phosphate things I didn't know until later on in the game. So my first instinct was when I used to have uh, green hair algae, I used to hear about the lawnmower blennies. And all I heard was, you know, lawnmower blennies are good for, you know, attacking green hair algae. They're great. They're great for green hair algae. That's all I read. And I'm here to tell you, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I didn't see any YouTube videos or any vlogs saying that you can get a bad apple out of the bunch. And I was that guy. I mean, my lawnmower blenny did not do his job at all. He was fired the second week that he was in the tank and I just can't catch him to get him out because every time I see him, when I go get the net to try, try to catch him, as soon as I come back, he's already in the rocks. So I, I, you know, I'm just like, whatever, he's just, he'll just stay in the tank. So the second thing that I found that was supposed to take care of the green hair algae was snails. You know, Astria snails, Astera snails, um, Turbo snails. I got all three types and they all failed. Either that or somebody in my tank was just eating them because they didn't do no kind of help in getting the algae out of the tank. All right, now third time's a charm, people. So the last thing that I saw that could possibly help me to recover from this green hair algae outbreak was this thing called Phosphate RX. So now I'm about to bring it back full circle. So. With Phosphate RX, this is basically a bottle that will actually lower your phosphate levels. So as I mentioned earlier, my phosphates wasn't extremely high, but it was high enough for the green hair algae to keep eating and keep feeding. Now the instructions on this is pretty self-explanatory on the box and it's pretty easy. Basically you put six drops per 10 gallons into your tank now what it says for you to make sure that you don't do is lower your phosphates 0.5 ppms within a 24-hour period so make sure you don't do that so and then once you put the proper amount of drops for your tank you let it sit overnight and then the next day it should get it low enough to where you can go ahead and tackle your greener algae now what you could do is go by hand and pull each one out because it's loose enough at this point because of the phosphate levels being low that you could just grab it by hand but what i did i just grabbed a toothbrush 
and I just scraped each and every single rock that I had into the tank. But I actually broke it off in sections. So I started off at the very end of the peninsula tank. So I started off at the third pillar towards where I'm where I'm at here in this video. And then I worked my way up to the top and then that was it for that day. Cause once you do this, there's algae that is all over the place. And I didn't get like a tube and then suck it up. I just let the uh, filtration take care of that and it go into the filter sock that I have in the sump. And I'm gonna tell you, it's a very long process, especially because of the size tank that I have and how much algae there was on the rocks. Not to mention it was keeping some of my corals from growing because it also attached onto the corals as well. So I had to take each and every coral out and then kind of lightly uh, graze it with the toothbrush to get the algae off of them as well. I also turned off all the power heads and pumps on the tank too so you can actually see what you're doing because if not, you know, you got the wave patterns going on at the top and you can barely see what you're doing when you're looking from the top down. So I turned all the pumps off. And with that being said, because of doing that, it was so much algae all over the place. I had to stop for every 20 to 30 minutes and let the sump or the overflow take all the algae out and then go back at it. And I did this for uh, a total of three days. Like I said, I had to section it off. So the bottom pillar and that arch, that was day one. Second day was the uh, second pillar and half of the big arch. And then the third day was the other half of the arch and the third pillar. So I just did it in sections because if not, um, the filter socks would have overflowed and it just would have been a whole crazy thing. So. Now as for the product itself, did it work? Yes. Would I recommend the product? Most definitely. I mean, the tank this week looks 10 times better than it did last week. And if you guys don't wanna take my word for it, just look at my last week's video. You can definitely see the difference between last week and this week's update video. I am definitely happy with the results. It was a money well spent. With that being said, it's not all the way 100% complete yet, only because of two things. It was a lot of ground to cover all at once. And then also it was just way too much green hair algae that was in this tank. So you guys just make sure you stay tuned and wait for next week's update. And then you can see how much of a difference between the week previous from this update is gonna be this one. And then next week's episode is gonna be now I will be checking my phosphates just to see where they're at currently. And if I need to, I will do another dose to lower the phosphates, but I don't think I need to do that because just within the last couple of days, I've been going back in every so often with the toothbrush and then, you know, scraping the rock and it's still coming off just as easy as it was last week. So I shouldn't have to, but you know, it won't hurt it. And then if you guys are asking if this is reef safe, absolutely, as you can see, None of the fish nor corals were harmed at the making of this video and the testing of this video. Every single one of them are doing just as good as they were before I did the testing. So once again, as always, I just want to thank y'all. I appreciate y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one.